Hey guys, I completely forgot to film an intro for this routine, but this is my work to happy hour makeup routine. So let's go ahead and get started. So to start off, I'm starting off with my skin nice and clear. I am not a morning person at all. And I do not like to put on a whole bunch of makeup and have it on from literally like 8 to 5 p.m. And then be trying to go out and stuff later on that night to like happy hour and things like that. I feel like that's so long to have on makeup and it's just uncomfortable for me. So I usually don't wear foundation. So what I usually do is just grab my favorite eyebrow pencil. And this is the Brow Definer by Anastasia of Beverly Hills. And I just comb through my brows. And then I take my little, what is this called? The, all the words. Oh, <laughs> This is so old, all the words have been wiped off, but it's the Brow Primer by Anastasia Beverly Hills, and clearly it's down to a little nub. I use this every single time that I do my brows, because I feel like it helps the brows to not smudge or slip and slide around, and it makes the color definition pay off so much better. So I don't like to wake up earlier than I need to to go ahead and do a full face of makeup unless it's, you know, for something like really important. So, I mean, not that work isn't important, but I just don't like wearing that much makeup to work. So I'm going to keep it really, really simple for my workday look. Literally, it takes me five minutes to have. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill in my brows with the brow definer, and this is in the color Ebony. I like for my brows to look nice and defined, but when I don't have on a lot of makeup, I think that they look really nice when you don't fill them in like super harsh. So this brow definer is going to be all that I use for my brows and of course like carve them out a bit, but I like to keep it pretty simple for work. And I don't like for my brows to look super halo-y or 3D when I carve them out, so I always use a foundation. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this Make Forever HD, the Ultra HD foundation. My color is Y455, and I like this one the best because it literally just melts right into my skin. It's literally the perfect color for my skin tone. So next after that is mascara, and my favorite one to use is, well one of my favorite ones to use is the Benefit Their Real Mascara. It really separates the lashes, it makes them look really nice and natural, but also really long and flirty and pretty as well. So I just do like one or two quick coats just to make my lashes look really nice and pretty. So that's the difference between the lashes and I think it makes a pretty big difference. And for lips, I literally just use my Nuke's Lip Balm or my Aquaphor. I bring both of these during the day with me in my purse. This one's, of course, easier to just like grab and go. But I always start off with this Nuke's one in the morning. I showed you guys this in my last video and how I accidentally poked a hole in it with my nail. But I love this lip balm. It's really nice and smooth, so I just dig into it with my nail because my nails are a little long. And just rub it on like this. And that is all that I do for work in the morning and throughout the day. Um, I know that I have other videos on my channel where I have like other work and school videos where it's like a lot more makeup, but I feel like I had a lot more time to do that in the morning because I was still in grad school and I wasn't working full time, but now it's like, I don't have time for all that, like you know? So I do a lot more, like the bare minimum, just to like look decent for work in the morning. And then for happy hour, that changes. So we're gonna go ahead and get into that routine, right? Okay, so when I come back in the afternoon, um, so first of all, the first thing I wanna say is, usually I have time to come back home in the afternoon because I kind of live in a central area of Houston. So I have time to come back home and change, you know, freshen up, change my makeup right quick and then head back out the door. But if you don't have time to do that, then I know a lot of girls have like some heels in their car or like a different change of shirt and things in their car or just like a little pouch of makeup that they carry. So I would suggest doing that if you don't have time to stop home all the time. But since I do, I'm going to show you guys like kind of what I do when I stop home and the things that I use to just get a really quick 10 minute change and go. So the first thing I do is I take my Evian Natural Mineral Water Spray, and I did talk about this in my last video, the one that I used for the plane. This is what it's gonna look like. I didn't have it with me at the time, but this is it. So I just take this and just shake it a little bit and spray this all over my face. And it sprays a lot out at a time, so you literally don't even need to spray a whole bunch. Like, I feel like that was a lot. So I just kind of let that sit and let it all hydrate my skin. And my skin is combination, so I feel like it's oily up in these areas and then drier in these areas. 
So what I'll do is I'll just take like a plain Kleenex and I'll just kind of dab out the oily spots because I don't want to rehydrate those. I don't need to, clearly. So I'll just dab over them just to soak up some excess oil. If you have, of course, like the oil strips, um, like the blotting strips, then I go ahead and use those. And for my dry spots, I take some of that Aquaphor and I just put it over any dry spots, which is literally like the bottom half of my face. It's so crazy. It's literally dry from here down and then oily from there up. It's, it's wild. So I just go ahead and moisturize where I need to. And then I'll start off with my eyebrows again because I'm going to be putting on a little bit more makeup, not much, but I want to make them a little bit darker so that they don't look kind of crazy when I put everything else on. So I'm going to start with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Ebony Brow Powder Duo. And this one I'm starting to hit pan on as well. I always use the darker side. So I'm just going to go ahead and define my eyebrows, but I'm not going to use a whole bunch of this like I would if I was doing like a full face makeup. I just want to make them a little bit darker. So I'm just kind of tracing through what I've already done, but not making them excessively dark. Like literally that's it. It just looks a little bit more defined than the other one does. Next, I'm going to go ahead and pop on some lashes. These are the Crazy Ray Ray Lashes. These are the ones, here's the original box. These are the original ones. These are drugstore lashes and they're some of my favorites. They came out with another round of these, so I don't know if they still make these anymore, but when they came out, I literally bought them like in bulk because I love them. But the new ones that they came out, like the second round, are so beautiful. I don't know about y'all, but putting on lashes when I have on mascara is literally the hardest thing ever because my lashes are so curly they literally just flip straight up so that took me an eternity but anyway so next I want to warm up my face I want to like bronze I don't really want to contour like I said we don't have much time and we're going to go ahead and do what we can to look good in the least amount of time possible so I'm going to take my black up this is the sublime powder it's in number four and this is such a pretty color. It's kind of like a reddish undertone. It has like a shimmer to it, but I use it as like a bronzer and to warm up my skin. So I just take like a big fluffy brush and I just start to like push that into my cheeks and it kind of like gives it a contour and a glow as well. So I just kind of put this in all the areas that I usually contour, but instead it's like bronzing plus contouring. So it just kind of makes you look nice and sun-kissed. So cheeks, forehead area, and you put as much or as little as you want, it doesn't matter. I'm going to do like my chin area. Jawline. Get a small brush and kind of do like my upper lip cubis bow area. And then take another small brush and just kind of go along the sides of my nose as well. Literally as if I was contouring, but using like a bronzer for it. So it just makes you look nice and glowy pretty much. That's the goal here. To not look like I've been at work all day long and I'm tired. Just really nice and glowy. So next I take my Anastasia Contour Kit. And for this one, I'm going to use this color that I always do. This is the Golden Peach. It's the refill color, so it doesn't come with the original kit. And I just pat into that and go under my eyes. So I don't use concealer. I just want to brighten up my under eyes to make me look less tired. So it's not as heavy as concealer, but it kind of brightens up your skin a little bit more as well. On my chin, upper lip area a little bit, nose, and between the brows. So it's just the quickest little highlight ever. It just brightens up your face like that much more. Then I go back in and make sure that this is all blended and nice. And then I'm going to go ahead and add some mascara to my lower lash line as well, just a little, so that my lower lash line doesn't look so bare.
So now I'm gonna go ahead and find an outfit and then we're going to get into lips and some finishing touches. So I'm real simple, I just put on a white long sleeve shirt and just some jeans and I'm probably gonna throw some heels with that. So I usually don't leave the house without a hair tie just until my hair grows to where I want it to be. I like cut it down super short on the sides, which is fine, but I like for it to be a little bit longer. So I'm just more comfortable with a hair tie right now. But they're not really hair ties. If you follow me on Instagram, you see that they're t-shirts. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this white one. one that I wore for my Valentine's Day tutorial as well. And there you go. Did some hair tie in like 30 seconds. So for lips, my two favorite glosses that I usually wear like all the time and I always carry them with me. This one is by MAC. It's called Spite. And this one is Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm, the original one. So for today, I'm gonna to go ahead and pop on some Fenty Beauty. Just finish it up with this. And this is the final look for me. So if you guys wanna go ahead and add a highlighter or do anything else that you want to, you can. But I like to keep it really, really simple. Um, it's the afternoon, you know, just going to get some drinks and some food with my girls. And that's pretty much it. So this is my simple 10 minute, literally takes 10 minutes. Simple work day to happy hour makeup routine. So I hope that you guys enjoy it. And I also wanna know you guys' routines. Like when you're going from work to happy hour, do you bring things with you? Do you stop at home? Do you go ahead and put more makeup on or you just go how you are? I wanna know what you guys do and what some of your favorite go-to products. It really helps to make that transition easier. So I can go ahead and incorporate them in mine because I'm always trying to figure out a way to make my days easier and stay more organized. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. As always, all products listed will be in the description bar down below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you so much for watching. I ended up putting on a jean one after. And as always, I hope you guys feel beautiful inside and outside because you are. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.